Hello and welcome to Saucy Cat. My name is Connor, and with Mother's Day right around the corner, I asked my mom if there's any recipes she'd like to see on the channel. So today, I'm happy to whip up some vegan lentil meatballs. Let's dive in. Place a medium-sized saucepan on the stove and bring some veggie broth to a boil. Once it's bubbling, add in our lentils. Place a lid on that and turn the heat down to medium-low and let that simmer for 20 minutes. In the meantime, roughly chop up a yellow onion and get out a pan. Warm up some olive oil before adding in a bunch of garlic and our onions. Saute that on the heat until the onions and garlic begin to brown, or about 5 minutes. Now take out a food processor and add in some ground flaxseed and water. Give it a couple good pulses until it's mixed, and this is going to act as the binding agent in this recipe. Toss in our onion and garlic along with some tomato paste, Italian seasoning, parsley, and some vegan parmesan cheese. Last but not least, let's add in the lentils. Give that a good blend until you don't notice any larger chunks of anything in there. Pour that mix into a large bowl and add in some panko breadcrumbs. Fold it over itself until it's thoroughly combined. You should notice this start to get a little bit thicker at this point. Now bust out a parchment paper lined baking sheet and we can start making these into balls. I'm using this ice cream baller to scoop up some mix and then molding the top half so it's more of a ball shape. We want the whole thing to be round. Line up all your meatballs and give them a little drizzle of olive oil. Now put them into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. They should be a little darker in color now, and at this point feel free to store them in the freezer if you're not going to eat them right away. We got one last step before these are ready to serve. Heat up a pan with some olive oil on medium high, and then add in our meatballs. Pan fry them on one side and roll them over when they start to darken. It should only take about 2-3 to three minutes on each side. These are looking incredible, so let's grab some pasta and sketty sauce and plate this dish. I can't name a single better pairing than spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> the combination of baking and frying these meatballs gave a great char to the outside of them. They are so delicious. Thanks so much, Mom, for the suggestion. Well, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. Let me know order some of your favorite recipes in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time on Saucy Cat. Oh, no!